Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kadash, Baraka, Thumb. So you sincere listeners who may tune into this. All right. This is the brother Yitzhakai coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kadash. All praises and honor due. All right. And I want to entitle this lesson, What Iniquity Have You Found in Me? You know, based upon this uh, Jeremiah 2 and 5, you know, because uh, everyone act like, uh, you know, it, it's, well, it's, I'm not going to say everyone, but it's a lot of, of, of our people and, and people in general, you know, upon the earth, you know, who, uh, you know, question the Heavenly Father or, you know, uh, try to uh, discredit the Heavenly Father or, you know, lay something to the charge of the Heavenly Father like he's done something wrong, man. But yeah, how about you, man? What, 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 can, what has he done wrong? He, how, how could he have done something wrong when he gave you life in, 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 a, in a mind to even think that he's done something wrong, man? Without the Heavenly Father, you wouldn't even have, you know, a, a, a mind to think that he's done something wrong or you wouldn't even be... Uh, alive you wouldn't even you know you wouldn't even be in existence man so how can you lay uh iniquity or charge to the heavenly father man because without him you know it, it would be no creation man so you can't say that the heavenly father did anything wrong man you know because the heavenly father made right and wrong man you know and if you're not uh abiding by the way that he told you to uh abide by which only we we, we know that only the nation of israel can do that you know then that's 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 your fault, man. Yeah, but see, my son gave you the blueprint, you know, with these scriptures, man. You know, within these scriptures, it, 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 it guides us on how we're supposed to live. It guides us on how we're supposed to have life. It guides us on, on, on how we're supposed to have immortality and eternal life, man. You know, all the things that we desire, man. These scriptures give you the key on how to do it, man. You know, so but but if you don't want to follow the instruction manual on how to get the things that you desire and the things that you want, then that's on you. You can't blame the heavenly father for that, man. You know, let, let's, let's get into it, though. This is Jeremiah chapter two, verse five. It says, Thus said the Lord, you have by Shai, what iniquity have your fathers found in me? That they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain. Yeah. What what iniquity have you found in uh Yahweh Shai? You know, that 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 you gotta uh, you know, do do the things that you do, man. You know, what is what is your how about you start really done unto us, to where, to where you be like, okay, I can't serve him. You know, he's not a a a, a power that you know is, is 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 worthy of my service, man. You know, when the heavenly Father's done everything for us, I e gave you life, man, <laughs> gave you existence, man. You know. That that alone right there is, is is enough for you to uh you know uh give give service unto the heavenly father and his only begotten son, man. You know, that that that's that's that, that's enough within itself, man. You know, but uh Jake Jake doesn't uh appreciate that, man. You know, instead he will, you know, uh rather, you know, seek out his 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 own. Matter of fact, let me go here to Ecclesiastes seven. I'm gonna jump back to that because I wanna read a little bit more on that. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse uh, 29. It says, Lo, this only have I found that Yahabashim Asha have made man upright, but they have sought out many adventures. Yeah, so, you know, that was man's choice to seek out many adventures. It's 444 and 2 called La Yahabashim Asha, 144. Um, that, that was man's uh, idea to seek out many adventures, man. You know, Yahabashim Asha didn't tell you to do that, man. He made you upright, man. You know, he, he gave you the blueprint on, 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 on the right way to go, man. You know, but you you didn't want that. You you sought out many inventions, you know, which is vanity, man. You know, want, wanting to, uh, you know, uh, worship false gods that, that, that have no life, that, that, that they don't even exist. You know, wanting to make up uh, false doctrines and, 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 uh, and, and, and instructions on how you should live that, that pretty much uh, are, are, are nothing but death, you know. Uh, you know, uh, uh, di different sources of spirituality, so to speak. You know, all these different things that that Jake, you know, seeks to do, which which are completely useless and meaningful, man. When you have about Shai gave you meaning. You know, you got always, you always got Jake. When I say Jake, speaking of uh, the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, 
Native Indians, they always say, what's my purpose in life? Well, you how about you? He gave you a purpose in his life, according to Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. You know, that's the whole duty of man. But you have a shot, uh, Salakia, but our people look at you have a shot and his way is 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 useless. Which which really you got it backwards. Your way in in, in the way you want to live is useless, man. You know? So you can't you can't blank lay nothing to the charge of Yahabash Shah. If, if we were to uh follow the order of Yahabash Shah, we wouldn't be going through certain things, man. You know. It's Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashai, what iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain? It says, Neither said they, where is the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashai, that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof but when ye entered ye defiled my land and made my inheritance an abomination yeah so yeah but she must have brought you know our our people out of ancient egypt man you know into a land that flowed with milk and honey a beautiful glorious plenteous land with anything that you could imagine in there man and then you know our people you know and, and gave you know gave you the setup on how to live you know beautifully and, and, and instead of doing that you wanted to uh live within your own means and with your help and what you have about you i gave you man you know that's just like uh you 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 you, you your, your parents got a nice house stay in a nice neighborhood bring you up in a nice upbringing but you want to you 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 want to uh you know turn turn that nice upbringing into some hood stuff man you know <laughs> you you, you want to sell drugs you know, I, I, out the house, you wanna, you, you wanna, uh, you wanna do drugs out the house, man. You wanna, you know, uh, you know, uh, do do things that uh, have nothing to do with the environment that you're around, man. You know, that's 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 completely ridiculous. Whose fault is it? Is it your parents' fault? You know what I'm saying? Or is that it's your fault that you're in the situation? Like, what iniquity can you lay, lay to your your parents? charge for that they they set you up in a good position you didn't take advantage of that man you know it says the priest said not where is the lord and they that handle the law knew me not the pastors also transgressed against me and the prophets prophesied by the all and walk after things that do not profit wherefore i will yet plead with you said the lord your children's children will i plead for pass over the isles of chittim and see and send unto Kadar and consider diligently and see if there be such a thing. Ha have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Yeah, so, yeah, but see, my shaka damn sure lay something to the charge of our people, man. You know, and that's a charge that you can't even really bring to the offense of no other nation outside of the nation of Israel, man. You know, you can't even lay that iniquity to anyone else who don't even know the upright way or the proper way to walk, man. You know, but you can lay that to the charge of, of, of Israel, man. <laughs> you know, here it is. You, 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 you got the actual living God, the only one omnipotent power, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and you refuse to serve him. And you got these other heathen nations who don't even have no living power, but they still worship, you know, whomever their God is, man. You know, that's absolutely ridiculous, man. You know, but you want to blame someone on the Heavenly Father, man. That's sick, man. That's sick as hell, man. You know, let's go ahead to Zephaniah 3. And that's why a lot of our people are going to perish, man. You know, because of their blatant disregard, their blatant, uh, you know, their, their, their refusal to accept accountability, their, 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 their uh, re re refusal to handle their responsibilities, their, 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 their uh, utter and complete, uh, you know, um, Disregard of your how about she outside his way, man. You know, and then try to, you know, and then they want to play the blame game, man. You know, you got our people want to play the blame game. You know, well, if 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 if, if life was more than, supposed to be like this, then why did God not set it up for me like this, man? Yeah, but she might shot did set it up for you like this. You the one that want to walk that way, man. All right. You know, not not here it is. You still got to wait. You still got a chance to walk in the ways of Yahweh by Shimao Shai, and you don't want to do it, man. You know, so I don't don't blame him for nothing, man. Don't blame him for nothing. Don't blame Yahweh by Shimao Shai when you know, uh, 
when 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 a lot of you people are dying, man. Don't blame your how about see me outside when uh when when a lot of these uh when when, he, when these children start dying, man. You know when your children start dying, man. Don't don't blame your how about see me outside when you're eating your children, man. Don't blame your how about see me outside when Esau eating the so-called white man come roll on you with a fierce fierce anger, man. You can't blame your how about see me outside. Only person you could blame is your damn self, man. You know, just like uh A. Reed Spears, man. You know, this fool, man. What, what you want to talk about? What, you know, he, he talking about he, he don't believe in your how about you outside no more because Chadwick Bozeman died, man. Forget Chadwick Bozeman, man. You know, it's, we, we, we sorry that, you know, the brother died, you know, a man of our nation. But, you know, at the end of the day, you, you can find iniquity in Chadwick Bozeman, man. You know, you can find iniquity in Chadwick Bozeman. You know, that's easy, man. You know, you so, so he, he Chadwick Bozeman. Chad with Bozeman uh, deserved the judgment that he got from Yahabashi Mausai, man. You know, Yahabashi Mausai don't deserve the unjust treatment that he gets, though, man. You know, so what you want to talk about? You don't believe in Yahabashi Mausai no more because, uh, uh, cause, cause Chad, Chad with Bozeman died. Like he, like he deserved life over Yahabashi Mausai. Something like Yahabashi Mausai owed him something, man. You, man, you got our people. You got our people. They out there, damn minds, man. You know, this, this, this is chapter nine, chapter three. In verse 5, it says, The just Lord, Yahabashim Yahshua, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Yeah, Yahabashim Yahshua will not do iniquity, man. Yahabashim Yahshua ain't got to lie to you, man. Yahabashim Yahshua ain't got to fake the funk with you. Yahabashim Yahshua ain't got to play no games with you. He ain't got to string you alone, man. Yahabashim Yahshua don't do iniquity, man. He ain't got to do iniquity. What Yahabashim Yahshua got to do iniquity for, man? All right. He's everlasting. He ain't had no beginning or no end, man. He, he, he didn't need none of us. He created us for his pleasure, man. You know? What the hell he got to do iniquity for, man? You know? It says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to life. He fell of not, but the unjust know of no shame. Yeah, the unjust know of no shame. You know, which is everyone outside of Yahabashim Yahushai, man. Yahabashim Yahushai is, is, is the only good, man. You know, pertaining to uh, Micah 7. Matter of fact, let's go there. Let's go to Micah 7 real quick. Cause it, cause it ain't no uh, good and just outside of your, uh, the heavenly father, Yahweh. You know, here we go right here. This, 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 uh, Micah chapter seven and verse two. It says, "The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. They all lie and wait for blood. They hunt every man, his brother, with a net, that they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince acts of, <laughs> and the judge acts of." For a reward in the great man, he uttered his mischievous desire. So they wrap it up. The best of them is as a briar. The most upright is sharper than a thorn edge. The day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh. Now shall be their perplexity. Yeah, so now, you know, you finna be in trouble, man. You know, now you finna be in trouble because uh, ultimately it ain't, 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 ain't no good in the earth when Yahabashim Yahshua made man to be upright and good man but since you wanted to forsake that way and say that uh, the way of Yahabashim Yahshua was, uh, was was not good you know woe unto you who call uh, good evil and evil good now you finna have death coming unto you man because you wanted to refuse the ways of Yahabashim Yahshua now you know look what your way have got you man they ain't gotten you nothing but death which is coming for you man you know let's go ahead to Zephaniah 3 This, this is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. It says, The just Lord, Yahabashim is in the midst thereof, he would not do iniquities. Yeah, so Yahabashim Asha would not do iniquity, but every man upon the earth, they'll do iniquity easily. The good man is perished out of the earth, man. You know? It says, Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Every morning he brings his judgment to light. Every morning, Yahabashim Asha uh, shows himself more and more. Every every, every morning, Yahabashim Asha uh, get, uh let lets you know, like, look, the things that you are doing are wrong, man. That's why you are dying, man. You know, just like uh, uh, whom, whomever, you know, when when a Jake gets shot by the police, so to speak, man. You know, even if they didn't necessarily do something wrong within the situation where when they got shot by the police, you were doing something wrong according to how you was living, man. You got judged for that, man. But uh, uh, Jake don't lay that to heart. Why? Because the good man is perished out of the earth, man. You know, it says. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He fell of not, but the unjust know of no shame. But the unjust know of no shame, though. You know, so, you know, you got these these people down here who are unjust, you know, according to Micah uh, 72. 
you know, the the, the uh, us mortal beings who are upon the earth who are considered as, as as unjust to the heavenly Father, they know of no shame, man. You know, they 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 they, they don't uh they they don't consider uh the things that they do uh if, if, uh worth uh being being worth judgment, man. They don't understand that the things that they're doing that is adverse to the ways of Yahweh al Shai merits a judgment, man. You know, they 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 don't think that merits a judgment. They think that. Uh, the judgment, if, if judgment is merited for, you know, anything that they are doing wrong, that's wrong, man. You know, but see, that's because that's that's what happened when you seek, 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 seek out many adventures outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You want to think that your right way is right, and then you end up forgetting about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And, and, not, and now you want to say that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is wrong, man. You know, and then, and then you become prideful, man. You know, and, and according to Sirach 10, Pride is the uh, beginning of when one departed from his maker. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Let's get that real quick. Um, this is Rock 10 in verse 12. It says, The beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh Shem Shah. Yeah, the beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh Shem Shah. And that's what happened. You know, these people upon uh, the earth have, uh, you know, become very prideful in their way, man. Because, uh, and, and forgot about the uh, upright and uh, um, good way of Yahweh Shah. You know, it says, and his heart is turned away from his maker, and his heart is turned away from his maker. See, when your mind turns away from your maker, you know, then you become prideful, and that's what happened with a lot of these people on the earth. That's why the unjust know of no shame. You know, it says, for pride is the beginning of sin. Yeah, the pride is the beginning of sin. You know, so once you become prideful uh, towards your Habash Shem Shah, that brings forth uh, sin, which sin is the transgression of the law. And we know uh, the wages of sin are death, man. You know, so that brings forth death once you start to uh, try to live in your own way outside of the ways of your Habash Shem Shah. You know, it says, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have it shall pour out abomination. We know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he of all abomination pertaining to us to rock the 15th chapter, man. You know, it says, and therefore the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Yeah, and that's that's what's been happening to, to this place, man. You know, that's ultimately, you know, what happens to a lot of our people, man. They end up getting judged, man. You know, they end up uh, getting uh, harsh judgments. Uh, crazy things end up happening to them, man. You know, and then they end up you know, in, in, in horrible situations, i.e. I, like the situation we in right now here in Babylon, man. You know, <laughs> completely destroyed, man. You got our people in tents. You got our people on drugs. You got our people, damn, acting like straight up Babylonians, man. You got our people acting like loony coons, man. You know, uh, say, saying Donald Trump is the way, man. You know, crying, saying he helped them and saved them, man. You know, that, that that's that's you being overthrew, uh utterly because why you was prideful in your own way and that's brought forth your destruction man which is going to ultimately lead to your ultimate destruction you know which is um going to be uh this massive judgment that you have by shima Shah is going to bring to our nation jacob's trouble you know which is the end the end of all things man you know um let's go back to deuteronomy 23 it's uh, back in Deuteronomy 23 and verse 21. It says, When thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord thy power, Yahabashim al Shah, thou shalt not slack to pay it. So if you make a vow to Yahabashim al Shah, you can't vow, uh, you can't slack to pay it, man. You know, you got to pay that up, which we made a vow to Yahabashim al Shah according to uh, Second Chronicles, the 15th chapter, man. You know, in Leviticus, the 26th chapter, man. You know, through, throughout the whole Torah, man, you had our people who, uh, you know, uh, swore and, uh, you know, um, pretty much. Uh, agree with the covenant in the oath of Yahweh Shem Shah. You know, so we so we made a vow unto the Lord our power, man. You know, we owe that, man. We we owe uh, our obedience unto that covenant. We 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 are under uh we we are under the rule of that covenant and that vow and that oath, man. You know, we can't we can't break that vow, man. Just like uh when you make wedding vows, which you know that was in semblance to us making wedding vows to Yahweh Shem Shah. You can't break your wedding vows, man. You know, if you do break your wedding vows, then you know you could, uh, you know, you 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 pretty much gonna be, uh, you you gonna be considered as uh, uh, unto a, uh, I mean, just just for lack of better words, you're gonna be like an unto a scumbag, man. You know, cause you ain't you're gonna be uh, dishonorable, man. You know, and that's what we have become uh, unto how about Shem Al Shah? You know, dishonorable, man. Vessels <laughs> wherein there is no pleasure, man. You know, pertaining to Hosea the eighth chapter, you know. 
It says, When thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord thy power, Yahabashim al Shah, thou shalt not slack to pay it. For the Lord thy power, Yahabashim al Shah, will surely require it of thee, and it would be a sin in thee. Yes, yeah, so Yahabashim al Shah is going to require that for sure. You know, so we made <laughs> yeah, a, a, a vow with Yahabashim al Shah. Matter of fact, let's go to 2 Chronicles 15. Let's go to 2 Chronicles 15 real quick. Which, you know, there's no remembrance of former things. So you got Jake's here today that be like, oh, I didn't make no covenant with, I, I didn't make no vow with Yahabashim Yasha. Yes, you did. You've been here before. Whether well, you want to believe it or not, that's why you're in the position that you're in right now, man. You know, and that's why uh, your people are in the position that they're in right now, man. Why? Because you're under a covenant and a vow of Yahabashim Yasha, which you did not keep. You know, let's go, let's go here. This is 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. It says that whosoever would not seek the Lord, Salakia, let me uh, start from 12. This is 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 12. And they enter into a covenant. Let's get this word covenant. Let's get this word covenant. A matter of fact, we're going to look it up on Google as well. Covenant. Strong's H1285. Berith. Berith. Covenant. Uh, alliance pledge. Uh, treaty alliance league constitution ordinance a agreement a pledge an alliance alliance of marriage and vows between yahweh and man alliance of friendship a covenant divine ordinance with signs or pledges um covenant making so let's let's go into uh let's go into covenant on google and we're gonna see you know what kind of words are synonymous with it let's go into uh Covenant uh, synonyms, um, an agreement. I'm trying to see if we can see vow here. There we go, right here. For the verb, you got vow, man. So uh, a vow can be likened unto a covenant, man. You know, a vow can be likened unto a covenant. So we we made a covenant with the Lord our power that we was gonna seek Him with all our heart. You know. Let's read uh, 2 Chronicles 15 and 12 again. It says, the 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 12, and they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, thy power, Yahabashim Ashav, their fathers with all their heart and with all their souls. You know, so we entered into a covenant to, uh, you know, seek the Lord, thy power with all our heart and with all our soul. You know, it says that whosoever, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahabashim Ashav, the God of Israel, should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman so there was a covenant there was an agreement there was a vow that the nation of israel made that if they with, with all their heart and with all their soul that whosoever would not seek the lord thy power the god of israel yahabashim al shah should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman you know that that was that was an agreement that uh the nation of israel had made you know that was a vow that the nation of israel you know uh you know ag agreed to man you know so if, if 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 they you know didn't come through with that you know then sure, sh surely that they, they don't they don't make it null and void you know Yahabashim Asha is gonna require that man you know Yahabashim Asha ain't forget about that he still requires that you know to this day you know tell you in uh, Nahum the first chapter Yahabashim Asha will not at all acquit the wicked man you know so Yahabashim Asha is gonna. Uh, he 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 requires he requires payment for the vow and the agreement that you agreed to uh carry out, man. Which if you did not keep the vow, uh, the the payment for for not keeping the vow was for you to be put to death. You know that 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 was a that was, that's the, the agreement that you made. You know, let's go here back here to Deuteronomy twenty three and twenty one. When thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord thy power, Yahabashim Asha, thou shalt not slack to pay it. For the Lord, thy power, Yahabashim al Shah, will surely require it of thee, and it will be sin into thee. Sin in thee, you see? So ultimately, if you do not um if you do not pay the vow back, now you have sin on you. Now you're in transgression. Now you trespass, and now you, you're worthy of death. You know? It says, But if thou shalt forbear to vow, it shall be no sin in thee. Right. So ultimately, if 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 you keep it. Then you ain't got a word, you know. You you fulfill you fulfill fulfill the agreement, man. You know. So if you but if you don't 
keep it. Now you've not fulfilled the agreement, and now you you know you that that means you're in the deficit. Now that means you owe something, man. You know which what you're gonna owe. You're gonna owe your life. You know. Not now you're gonna owe your life. You know. It's let's let's keep reading a little bit. It says that which is gone out of thy lips, thou shalt keep and perform even a free will offering according as thou has vowed unto the Lord thy power Yahweh which thou has promised with thy mouth. Yeah. So even if you make a a vow necessarily then come directly from Yahweh If you take it upon your own self to be like, okay, this is something that I'm gonna do. You still gotta pay that back, man. You know, you still owe that, man, because Yahweh He's he's about uh he's all he, he's he, he's the a prime example of being a man of your word, man. You know, you can't go back on something with Yahweh Shimao because Yahweh Shimao he not gonna go back on nothing, man. You know, Yahweh Shimao said if we didn't uh. Keep his covenant. He was gonna put up, put to, put us to death and put us in captivity. He been making good on it. So same thing with us. You know, <laughs> if, if we if we make any kind of vow, you know, we gotta make good on it. You know. Let's, let's go to Jeremiah two. It's Jeremiah two and thirty one. It's Jeremiah two and thirty one. It says, "O generation, see ye the word of the Lord Yahweh Shemashah? Have I been in a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness?" Wherefore say my people, we are lords, we will come no more unto thee. Yeah, so has Jehovah Shimao Shah like not you know been here for you for you to say, okay, we 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 shouldn't serve him? Like it, it tell you about in the second Ezra's the ninth chapter, man, about how such have received benefits in their life and have not known me, man. You know, anything that you got, you know, came from Yahweh Shimao Shah. I tell you, life and death uh comes from the Lord. Prosperity and adversity comes from Yahweh Shimao Shah, man. So whatever you going through, Yahweh Shimao Shah. Uh, uh, taking you through that. Whatever you got, Yahweh Shimao Shah, uh, bless you with what you got, man. You know, so it it ain't like Yahweh Shimao Shah is not there for you to be like, oh, okay, I can go take care of myself when Yahweh Shimao Shah is doing all the taking care of out here, man. You know, let's read verse thirty-two. It says, "Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire?" Yeah, you know damn well that's not gonna happen, man. If a woman finna get married, she gonna make sure she in her wedding dress, man. She ain't gonna forget her wedding dress, man. You know, she gonna. Damn sure pull up with the, the wedding dress. It says, yet my people have forgotten me days without number. But guess who guess who did do, do it though? Israel, man. <laughs> Israel did it, man. Israel pulled up to the wedding ceremony with no wedding dress on, man. You know, and then want to blame uh uh Yahweh Shah for uh for for the for the for the, for the marriage ceremony not going right, man. You you your ass didn't put on your wedding dress, man. You know. That ain't that ain't my responsibility, man. Your ass knew you was getting married. You should have came with a wedding dress on, man. Don't blame it on me, you know. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 7. The 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. It says. Let me see. Hold on. So like you. Yeah, I'm just start here. This 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. It says, receive us. We have wronged no man. We have corrupted no man. We have defrauded no man. I speak not this to condemn you, for I have said before that ye are in our hearts to die and live with you. You know, so really, ultimately, Yahweh Shimao Shah, he has uh, corrupted no man. He has defrauded no man, you know, but he ain't even saying this to condemn you, man. He said, for I have, you know, which this was uh, uh, the, the Apostle Paul speaking, you know, but we, we know that... Uh, Apostle Paul was moving uh, uh, directly according to the spirit of Yahweh Shimao Shah. So, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Shimao Shah is not wrong, no man, or corrupted, no man, or defrauded, no man. You know, it says, I speak not this to condemn you, which Yahweh Shimao Shah still doesn't condemn us for that. You know, which he, he'd be rightful in doing that. So, even even though he's justified and, and, and rightful and, and bringing condemnation upon us for, you know, um, you know, acting like we he's defrauded and corrupted us or wronged us, even, even though he hasn't, he still doesn't do it, man. You know, that's that's even more the reason why there's no iniquity in him. You know, it says, I speak this not to condemn you, for I have said before that they are in our hearts to die and live with you. You know, so uh, ultimately, you know, Yahweh Shimao Shah really ultimately wants, he don't want you to die, man. Here it is, he sent his only uh, a begotten son as appropriation for sins, man. You know, it's, it's pretty much a, a atonement or a way to get back right, you know, outside of death, man. You know, so you really can't lay any uh, uh, charge or, you know, uh, iniquity until you have a matter of fact, let's get that. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Let's get that. 
appropriation. Lord willing, I spill it right. For sins. Appropriation for sins. Ah. Uh, so like you. Just type it in like this. Um. Bear with me. Lord willing, I can find it. Um. Appropriation. Lucky, bear with me. Try to get this real quick. Mm. Yeah, here we go. Right here, call like Yabashima yeah, Shah. It's uh, first John chapter 4 and verse 10. It says, Herein is love, now that not that we love Yahabashima Shah, but that he loved us, right? So ultimately, you hey, look, you. You you can't lay no charge on your how about man? Cause you 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 didn't even show no love towards your how about but he still showed love to us, man. You know, and sent his son to be the appropriation for sins. You know, so he sent his only begotten son to be appropriation for sins, man. The fellas get that word appropriation. Appropriation. Uh, the means of appeasing so you know uh, atonement you know so pretty much you yeah, have still gave us a way outside of death even though that was the vow and the agreement that we chose to you know to uh partake in and enter man you know that that we chose to partake in entering in, man he still gave us another way outside of that uh, 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 uh outside of death to get out of that man and jake still refuses to uh follow that man they still refuse to take uh to, to receive your house shot my shock in their heart and their soul man you know so 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 who so who really in the fault man who's really in the fault you know who who really got iniquity on this you man you stay you got iniquity on you keep iniquity literally means sin on top of sin so here it is you are already worthy of death and then you how about you saying you appropriation so you can escape the death and you still continue on in sin man you the one who got iniquity on you man you know let's go here to romans 3 this is romans chapter 3 verse 4 it says i just started three just for a little context this is romans chapter 3 verse 3 it says for what if some did not believe so that should their unbelief make the faith of Yahabashim Yasha without effect? It says Yahabashim Yasha forbid ye let God ye let God Yahabashim Yasha be true, but every man a liar. Yeah, every man is a liar, man. Yahabashim Yasha is true, you know. It says let Yahabashim Yasha be true, you know. Yo, what what if, if you if if you didn't believe in the ways of Yahabashim Yasha, should that take away from the effect of the ways of Yahabashim Yasha? No. You know the way of is still right, man. You you're you're wrong. You know, you 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 can't say oh because I didn't believe it was the right way that it, it wasn't right. No, you're wrong. You know, <laughs> you're wrong. It's the right way. You can't make something that's right wrong, man. You know, and that's our people' problem, man. They always want to switch something up, man. You know, always want to remix something, man. You know, we invented the remix. You know. This Romans 3 and 4 it says, Yahabashim al Shah forbid, yeah, yeah, let Yahabashim al Shah be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Yes, yeah, so that's the only way you can overcome when you're judged, man, by following the ways of Yahabashim al Shah. If not, you're not going to overcome when thou art judged, man. You know, it says, But if our unrighteousness command the righteousness of Yahabashim al Shah, what shall we say? Is Yahabashim al Shah unrighteous who take a vengeance? I speak as a man, right? If our righteousness command the righteousness, I mean, so like if our un unrighteousness command the righteousness of Yahabashim al Shah, or uh, shall we say it is uh, Yahabashim al Shah is unrighteous who take a vengeance? It says, Yahabashim al Shah forbid, for then how shall Yahabashim al Shah judge the world, right? So you can't have one without the other, man. You know, if your unrighteousness was right, you know what I'm saying? If, if your unrighteousness was right, then your Habashim al wouldn't be justified in uh, judging your ass, man. You know? So, obviously, you in the wrong, man. You know? I, I, all these things, if, if judgment is coming upon the uh, 
uh, planet, planet Earth. Obviously, your your way is not uh, commending the righteousness of Yahweh Shimashah. That's 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 not it. That's not righteousness, man. Because if it, if it's not of Yahweh Shimashah, it's not righteous. You know, it says, "For if the truth of Yahweh Shimashah have more abounded through my lie unto His glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner?" It says, "For if the truth of Yahweh Shimashah have more abounded through my lie unto His glory." Why yet am I also judged as a sinner, right? You know what I'm saying? Because if, if your way was right, you wouldn't, you know, you you wouldn't be, you 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 wouldn't be going through the things you're going through, you know. Matter of fact, uh I'm gonna jump down. Salakia. I'm gonna jump down a little bit. Well, I just keep reading Salakia. <laughs> It says, and not rather as we be slanderously reported and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. It says, and not rather as we be slanderously reported and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil, let that good may come, whose damnation is just. Yeah, who's, whose damnation is just, man. If, if of those who are saying, let us do evil that good may come, man. You know, then who's... When when damnation come, who's gonna who's uh damnation is gonna be justified, man? You know, no nah, hell no. Nah. Every all all y'all ass evil, man. Ain't nobody doing good. It says, what then are they? Are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proved both Jews and and Gentiles that they are all under sin, right? So you know we can't. That's why we can't boast ourselves like uh we uh. Like on some, like we're we're even even us as service of Yahweh Masha who have accepted Yahweh Mashiach in our in our heart and our souls, we can't even act like we we on some good stuff now, man. Because why wow, we still understand, man? You know, we still getting judged. We getting judged right now, pertaining to uh, what's what's that? First Corinthians the eleventh chapter, man. You know, it says, as it is written, there is not none righteous, no, not one. It says there is none that understandeth, there is none that seek up after Yahweh Shemashah. <laughs> it says they are all gone out of the way. They are all together become unprofitable. There is none that do of good, no, not one. Right? Yeah, there ain't nobody down here that's uh, on the level Yahweh Shemashah, man. That's not uh, worthy of being charged with iniquity, man. It says their throat is an open sepulchre. With with their tongue, they have used the seat they their po the poison of aspis under their lips lips whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness man yeah that's that's jake man you know their feet are swift to shed blood destruction and misery are in their ways <laughs> and the way of peace have they not known yet yeah, the way of peace our people don't know the way of peace man you know nobody on this planet earth knows the ways of peace man the only the, uh, outside of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which another name for our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach is the Prince of Peace, you know, which our people refuse to accept, which they, which which means they don't have no upright way to walk, man. That's why iniquity is gonna be charged unto them, you know. It says there is no fear of Yahweh Shai Mashiach before their eyes, which the fear of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach is the beginning of wisdom, man. And no one, that's that's why uh no one has wisdom down here. And without wisdom, you know, you you can't you you no good is gonna come to you, man. You know, it says now we know that what things so what what things soever the law said is said to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped. So like you Satan. It says that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before Yahweh Bashim al And that's what's happened, man. You know, the whole world has become guilty before Yahweh Bashim al man. And that's why I was set up like this. So you can't you 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 can't uh you it, it, Yahweh Shemashah is, is 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 clear innocence within innocent within this man. You know, if you if you don't choose his if you don't choose his way in his law, man. You know, now 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 your now your ass is 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 the one who's in the wrong, man. That's that's why this was set up like that so you could never ever be able to say that it's Yahweh Shemashah fault that something is happening or Yahweh Shemashah did something wrong. No, your ass did it, man. You know, your ass did it. I'm going to get this right here and then, Lord willing, I got a couple more precepts. Lord willing, I can come back later and do a part two to this, you know. It's uh, Micah chapter 6, verse 10. It says, I mean, it's like in Micah chapter 6, verse 2. It says, when, matter of fact, let's go to Malachi 3. I'm going to come back. Lord willing, I'm going to come back to this. Let's go to Malachi 3. 
This is Malachi chapter 3, verse 13. It says, Your words have been stout against me, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah. Yet ye say, What have we spoken so much against thee? Yet it says, Your words have been stout against me, you know, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah. Yet ye say, What have we spoken so much against me? See, Jake don't feel like them saying that Yahabashim Yahushah did something wrong is wrong. You doing right there. That, you, you doing that right there within itself is iniquity, man. That's a major offense, man. You know? To, to, uh, that, that's blasphemy, man. You know, it says, yet ye have said it is vain to serve Yahabashim al Shai, and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have mocked mournfully before the Lord of hosts Yahabashim al Shai? Yeah, that's your fault. You say that it ain't, we don't got to keep the ways of Yahabashim al Shai. Like, what's the purpose in that, man? Which the purpose in that is your whole purpose, you know? And now we call the proud happy. Yeah, they that work wickedness are set up. Yeah, they that tempt Yahabashim al Shai are even delivered. Why? But, but why is that happening though? That's because the, they were set up to tempt Yahabashim al Shai, man. You know, that's 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 what they were set up to do, man. So Yahabashim al Shai ain't gonna judge them for uh, doing what they were set up to do, man. He gonna judge you for not doing what you were set up to do, man. You know, don't be worried about nobody else, man. You need to worry about your damn self, man. You know, it says, then they. That feared the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashah, spake often one to another. And the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashah, hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him. Before him. And for them that feared the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashah, that thought upon his name. So ultimately, you know, uh, the only ones who are going to uh, pretty much uh, have, uh, you know, uh, that book of remembrance open unto them. You know, uh, uh, a, new, a new way or uh, open unto them is, is, is those who... Uh, think upon the name of Yahabashim al and those who uh, accept, uh, you know, that book of remembrance that's uh, set before them, you know. But that, that's it, man. You know, I, I pray through the Spirit and Prophet Yahabashim al That's edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakat Kadash. Give my honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and peace and salutations to the house of David. Lord willing, I can come back with a part two. Shalom.